Hey, what's up, guys? This is Double X here, and I'm going to be casting a best of three between these two players. Bam, there we have the names. It's going to be G Fang Legacy against some Korean dots, but I have got it confirmed that this is going to be Liquid Jinro indeed. So we're going to have G Fang Legacy against Liquid Jinro. G Fang is going to be the uh, Red Zerg spawning in the top middle side, and Jinro. It's going to be blue turn in the center left side. So we're going to have a Protoss. <coughs> that was completely wrong. Scratch that. We're going to have a Terran versus Zerg. Whoa, I'm completely lost th today. But um, anyways, the map is going to be, as you can see here, according to these rocks and to the middle, that there's only one Salonga Tavern. Tower, wow, I'm completely off today, but the map is going to be the Shattered Temple. You have to bear with me throughout all this. Um, um, badly, bad talking, but uh, anyways, we uh, this is going to be a best of three, as I said, and Gino is going to put a barracks on the low ground. Let's get rid of this mother boop, er, because it's so much in the way. Um, that was me trying to beep, by the way. I've had a little sore throat, so uh, not a good beep there. But uh, G Fang's Legacy Overlord is going to be scouting around here and seeing that no, there's no base here, so he will have to scoot on down here. And uh, this drone saw this SV coming, so they both know where the other player is, and he is going to see these bags on low ground, trying to harass this SV, but. He's not going to kill it, I can assure you. And there the marine starts. So what is Jinro going to do? It looks like he's going to fast expand even though they're spawning close position. And uh, as soon as G-Fang Legacy saw this, he threw down his spawning pool as fast as he could. Even though we had his fast expansion on the way. But you can see this SV is here for Jinro to do the fast expand. And this is and this has been revealed to the Zerg player I believe because he could see that SV standard and there goes the command center at 16 supply so he got it barracks first just to be safe but he's going for the fast expand as a Terran against a Zerg on close positions on uh, the Shattered Temple so this is going to be an interesting game I tell you but if he can hold on to this he's going to be such a great shape and uh, even like that SV into scout but the SV didn't want to scout but all he would have seen is that the gas is up for G Fang Legacy and that the speed hasn't begun. And it's also going to make six circlings just to put on some pressure, I guess, because usually we'll just see two or four circlings, but maybe just to make a six to be comfortable. Uh Geno on the other hand is just the just wants to feel more comfortable by putting up a bunker hit, which is going to protect everything here. Everything is going to be protected. And here comes four circling against three marines. No, six circling against three marines and an SV. So the Terran will win this if micro correctly. And uh, this initial scouting overlord is uh, going to uh, be arriving at Jinro's base some uh, time soon. So uh, going to be able to position it right here or something or up on the cliff here and scout around around the eight minute mark, which is usually when uh, you want to scout the six to eight minute mark that is basically when uh, your opponent's tech will start to kick in in most cases we can see that g feng has cut his gas uh, mining after he got that speed up so uh, we also put out a spine crawl just to feel safe enough and now what is jinner doing he's going to get a even more secure wall in here and not let Zerglings run in here and take out this fly epot. No, he's going to build a uh, supply depot here as well. And uh, he has his orbital command going here, but not summoning any mules because he don't have the energy for it. But he has energy on this, so we're probably going to see a mule coming anytime soon. And uh, in a little SCV train transferring here, and some Zerglings try to uh, snipe this atom, but they did not because of this bunker protecting anything and I think Jinro uh, maybe should put a bunker around here or something like that as well but he is going to go for uh, blue flame Helions actually I did miss those two factories coming up but uh, he's going to do that 
in this first game in this best of three series, so he's looking to um, maybe looking to um, end this game early with those Hellions or just put on some uh, harassment on G-Fing's G-Fing Legacy's drones because harassment on the drone line is crucial as any race against a Sir because if a Sir's macro gets too out of control and they have their inject larva going as well as uh, maybe an auxiliary hatchery or just uh, multiple expansions but they can just re up an army so darn quickly because of all that larva and I'm little um, I wonder if uh, g Fing scouted those Hellions. He is going to run. He's circling back to scout when those Hellions come out. Now it's definitely seen that they are coming out, but they don't have the blue flame. So that will maybe make him a little bit more comfor comfortable. But he is going to put up a Roach for him just to make the Hellions go out to scoot on the way around here and not getting into the main base too quickly. But he definitely re needs Roaches and Queens not right now because the those are really robust against the... Uh, Aliens. And now the Halion's blue flame has uh, been researched and uh, killing uh, queens with Halion's or even buildings is not easy at all. During all this, Jenner has got two additional uh, barracks and two additional uh, idle SVs going, so uh, good and bad there. But uh, he also has his starport on the way. He also got his third refinery up and running, so probably going to go for some medevacs off this starport. And he has switched it up to siege tank tech. And uh, that Hellion harassment was hold off. I indeed think that all those Hellions were taken out by those Surglings. I did miss that. But I don't think they did too much. I don't think they killed too many drones. Like, take a look at the... No, they, they killed no workers and uh, maybe some units here. Didn't do too much, so just a waste of minerals there by general, I think. But that's the three Hellions here, so maybe there were some survivors on that mission. But we have th three Roaches here, which are going to be shot by those Marines, but it takes so darn long to kill a Roach with Marines. And they're possibly going to snipe this add-on, which is researching the uh, combat shields for the Marines, but no, the SVs were there in time to protect that. Now the Hellions are going to snipe this drone that will that wanted to become a hatchery down here so badly. And now those Hellions are most likely going to be sniped by all those Surglings just streaming in there with their speed. But wow, nice Hellions are going to take out all those Surglings. That is just so great. Never stack up light units against Blue Flame Hellions Surg players or any other race. Don't do that. But now you can see that g Spire is almost complete. He has crazy good side duration on both his faces. So we'll have to get a third real soon. You can see that he's just starting his third now. At the 11 and a half minute mark, that is so late for Zerg to start his third base. So uh, usually want to uh, have it done by uh, 11 minute maximum. You want to start it at much earlier so Jin is going to be great position and we have a drop here going on the left side possibly going to see some drones and it's crucial to snipe this uh, spire but it did not before enemy meters come out and we have seven meters on the way as long along with a the banelings and the banelings speed we have 11 banelings morphing in and also that uh, road speed for the roaches so uh, researching everything he can right now and he got Regina a little bit concerned. You can see he's putting up missile turrets all over the place. Putting up three more in his uh, main base here. Probably should uh, add one or two more here because uh, you're just going to swoop in and snipe those add-ons so quickly and even unguard the tanks. So you'll have to be careful about that. That's now we can see a drone transfer is coming to the bottom. Uh, no, to the centrite expansion for G Fang, and we'll have to expand to a fourth very soon if he's going to uh, um, uh, stay in this game. But a uh, two because a two base uh, Terran can just do so, mu so much. Um, you usually won't see a Terran expand too crazy in the early stage of the game. So, uh, but it's so do that much more, but. Uh, what is happening right now? G-Fang Legacy is going round the back and morphing in a ton of Bailings. He, uh, 
I think that is a bit overkill on the Banelinks, but uh, he has a fair amount of Surlings remaining. So maybe not that much of an overkill as, as I thought before. And uh, has a nice mix of uh, Roaches, Muras, and uh, Banelinks and Surlings. So the ground army is basically going to be uh, his assault army. And uh, these Muras are just going to be coming from the back and harassed because 7 Muras is not going to do much against this army. And G Fing knows it, so uh, he will have to skew on away with those builders. I think this had, yeah, 2 3 HP he had when it survived. So now we can see this uh, common Terran leapfrog front with his tanks and nice spread on the Marines for those Bane links. So uh, G Fing, but G Fing has that uh, creep here going for him, and he also has that. S Bailing speed, but uh, guess what? Jinro has a Thor on the field, so Thor can just absorb so much damage from those Bailing. So, uh, um, G Fake will have to do something. He most likely will have to sandwich the Terran or something. You can see he's coming with his main army from the back. Is he going to go for the base or? The reinforcement army is going to go for this main army because he nice position and spread on those tanks and the marines. Here comes the Zerg army and they're going to be shot away by those siege tanks immediately. And uh, the siege tanks were taken away so fast but look how much this army is just evaporating to those siege tanks. But there is actually not as many as I thought those marines disappeared so quickly to all those bailings. But we have a little marine squad moving down here and uh, they were put on attack man so... Unfortunately, they stopped on an overlord, so they will be spotted before they can reach this base, but uh, killing the overlord is good as well, but look at this reinforcement by Jinro, and it's continuing to produce a lot, and also has this Thor working on those rocks, just to uh, get his high yield up as his third base as soon as possible, and look at the supply depth discrepancy. Jinro is so much ahead, and he has such a nice fortification on the surrogate, and he's most likely going to win this game. Wow! G Fing Legacy has a lot of trouble here just rallying Roach after Roach and getting blasted away by the Siege Tank and is forced to GG out of this first game. So Jinro is going to win the first game and we're going to go on to game number two. Stay tuned for that.